Hey folks, exciting news from Intel. They have released their 10th Gen Intel Core Desktop Processor product brief. So now you can get some information about what is uh, what there is to look forward to in 10th Gen. Now, obviously Intel's lost a lot of market share to AMD. Um, I can say even on this channel, where we were exclusively Intel, we have bought three AMD processors probably within the last five, six months um, to go with the, uh, I think, 12 Intel processors I have. Now, obviously, um, I'm pretty much only using the best of those CPUs. Uh, you probably never will see the 3200G, uh, Ryzen 3 3200G on this channel ever again. And you may never see the i3-9100s ever again, or the, uh, the Celeron, or the uh, Pentium Golds. Um, so yeah, it's start, time to start cutting those loose as we, uh, want to have, uh, money available to get into the, uh, the tension chip. So, um, you have to go down and read the finer print on a lot of the stuff, which is annoying, uh, and talk about the clock speeds. Um, and obviously this guy is going to probably be your I7s and I9s. Um, so that's, that is exciting stuff there, right? All kinds of good information. They're calling the i9 10900K their fastest processor. So uh, that ridiculously expensive i9 uh, that's out there that's uh, probably the world's best gaming processor. Uh, they're saying this one's even better. So that is, that's exciting news. Now, uh, we'll get down to this below, but... Uh, DDR4-2933, so that's that's basically your base, right? Uh, we're, we're at 2666, and, and obviously you can uh, drive that RAM up uh, inside your BIOS uh, if you have compatible motherboard. Uh, so this one is just starting at uh, even higher speeds, and who knows what it will get up to. Um, so that's that's pretty exciting there. Not that, you know, ramp speed seems to really make that big a difference, but uh, they talk a bunch about this Wi-Fi 6 gig plus, whether that's, you know, that big a deal remains to be seen. Um, I think this is, uh, this here, nearly three times faster downloads. That's all relative to, uh, you know, the Internet's traffic, the website you're downloading from. Uh, I don't know that I find that, you know, to be much of a... Uh, anything that we're really going to care about. Now, um, to go with what Night Gen has um, and previous ones, we've got locked and unlocked, right? So unlocked is going to be your K-type processor. You know, for whatever reason, it doesn't say anything like that here. This is going to be the ones without the K, okay? And then you get down to here, and they start to talk about K, F, and F. So once again, they're bringing back the F. F will mean that you are going to need a graphics card. All right. So there will be K, F processors out there. And, um, you know, will it be much of a price difference? Probably not. Just like now, it's like $20. Um, for the most part, it's better to just buy the K chip. Now, why did I buy the i7-9700F? Um, Frankly, it was the only one available at Best Buy that I could walk away same day with. So that's why I bought that one. All right, so benefits, thermal velocity boost. You see that blazing speed up to 5.3 right out of the box. That is awesome, right? Uh, of course, you got to have a good CPU cooler. Um, they don't mention that here. Maybe somewhere in here they do, but... Uh, this Turbo Boost 3.0, I expect that to be better. And we talked about the DDR4-2933. Intel hyper-threading technology. More Thunderbolt 3 support. So, um, you know, a lot of the stuff is, is just uh, smoke and mirrors. Uh, I believe this is Intel UHD 630, so... Uh, not really an improvement over where we are. So let's look down here, okay? Now this is what we care about, really. Uh, here is your core i9, i7, i5, i3s. And this is where you see the uh, the turbo speed. So 
right there is uh, already um, higher than what we're at. So that's that is nice to see. Uh, there are your cores. So if I remember correctly, um, the i9 previously was 8 and 16. So um, that is going up to 10 to 20. The i7 was 8 and 8. And that is now uh, 8 cores, 16 threads. So really that, it's almost like that i7 has become the, uh, the i9 now. Or excuse me. The old i9 has become the i7. I don't know if that's a true statement, but hey. Core i5 went from uh, 6 and 6 to 6 and 12. And then the core i3, I believe, was 4 and 4. So uh, really a lot better performance. All have hyper-threading, uh, at least the ones shown here. And now, of course, the, uh, the i7 and the i9 have the better memory type support. The i5 and i3 don't, but they will still be monsters, folks. So this looks, this does look pretty impressive. Um, we just have to sit and wait for uh, what AMD is going to come out with, uh, see if they're going to pass these guys or uh, barely keep up. So 400 series chipset. Now that's one thing to look at here. I see nothing about LGA uh, 1151 or 26, 2066. Um, this would be really nice if I could keep all my old motherboards. But hey, that's all I have for now. You probably uh, didn't get much out of this beyond what uh, you could read here yourself. But thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe.